The Toyota has been expressing its skepticism about a fully electric future. Despite launching exciting electric cars next year, the company explores other energy sources. Now, the GAC Group, a Chinese state-owned manufacturer that is half-owned by the Toyota Motor Corporation, has developed the world's first ammonia engine for passenger vehicles. Let's examine Toyota's new ammonia-powered engine and consider its potential impact on electric cars. Chapter 2 What are the advantages of Toyota's new engine? It is important to understand what an ammonia engine is and why it assumes such significance. An ammonia engine belongs to the category of internal combustion engines that use ammonia as their energy source. Ammonia, composed of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, stands out for the absence of carbon atoms, resulting in no carbon dioxide emissions during the combustion process, distinguishing it from conventional fuels such as oil and gas. This unique characteristic positions ammonia engines as a promising solution to reduce pollution in the future. Several approaches aim to make these engines effective. One of them involves decomposing ammonia into its components, hydrogen and nitrogen, and then using hydrogen in fuel cells to generate electricity. The startup known as Emoji demonstrated this technique when it introduced the world's first emission-free ammonia-powered tractor from John Deere. Another approach is to mix ammonia with other fuels, such as diesel, gas, or hydrogen, before igniting them together. This combination facilitates ignition and sustains combustion. Man Energy Solutions applied this methodology in developing a two-stroke ammonia engine specifically designed for maritime applications. A third approach involves the direct use of ammonia as the main fuel source. This approach requires advanced technologies such as spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. Chapter 3 Toyota Partners with GAC Recognizing the mentioned benefits, Toyota took significant steps. Toyota formed a partnership with the Chinese state-owned manufacturer GAC, and together, they unveiled a prototype engine that runs by burning liquid ammonia, which is a notable achievement. The four-cylinder, two-liter engine is claimed to generate 161 horsepower while reducing carbon emissions by 90%. This achievement has significant implications for the future of automotive design and environmental preservation. However, the development journey faced challenges such as managing the increase in combustion pressure and treating excessive nitrogen emissions, according to reports from Autocar. These hurdles, though substantial, highlight the dedication and innovation needed to make the ammonia-powered engine a reality. Overcoming challenges associated with the efficient burning of ammonia was particularly significant. For a long time, ammonia was seen as difficult to burn quickly compared to traditional fossil fuels. However, engineers managed to overcome this obstacle, paving the way for effective use of ammonia in the passenger car industry. An engineer from GAC stated, we overcame the challenge of burning ammonia quickly and introduced it into the automotive industry. He also emphasized its value for commercial uses. The exploration of ammonia as a low-carbon fuel is gaining prominence on various fronts, although challenges remain. Its adoption by automakers will require further development and refinement. While immediate implementation is not imminent, Clean combustion engines powered by ammonia represent a promising direction. Toyota holds a substantial stake in GAC, the company behind the innovative ammonia engine. Toyota's approach to emission-free transportation is diverse, encompassing alternative fuels, conventional electric vehicles, and vehicles with hydrogen fuel cell technology, such as the Mirai. The company is also actively exploring hydrogen-powered combustion engines, as demonstrated in racing endeavors to evaluate this technology. With its investment in GAC, the company may consider ammonia-powered power plants in markets like China and other regions as the technology develops. 
It is important to note that approximately 80% of current ammonia production is used in agriculture as fertilizer, along with applications in industries such as explosives, dyes, plastics, and chemicals, suggesting its accessibility as an alternative energy source. Despite challenges, ongoing advancements in ammonia engine technology and the strategic involvement of major companies like Toyota indicate a future where cleaner and more sustainable transportation options become a reality. China holds the world's largest electric vehicle market, but demand for vehicles with traditional internal combustion engines persists. There are indications that the Chinese government is considering a ban on the sale of cars with internal combustion engines, following the trend of California's policies. Chapter 4 of the Market Trend The emergence of alternative fuels such as hydrogen, ammonia, and synthetic fuels could potentially extend the life of internal combustion engines. These innovative fuel options may eventually become more cost-effective to produce than fully electric vehicles, offering a compelling and environmentally friendly choice for a broader audience and addressing convenience concerns. Toyota has a strong position in the Chinese market and has even developed electric vehicles specifically for this region. However, the company's strategic approach indicates a commitment to meeting diverse consumer preferences. Exploring technologies like ammonia-powered engines aligns with this comprehensive strategy. It will be intriguing to observe whether this technology advances to commercial availability and, if so, whether it will be introduced on a global scale. In the context of the evolving Chinese automotive landscape, the potential integration of vehicles powered by alternative fuels, such as those using ammonia, adds an exciting dimension to the ongoing transition to more sustainable transportation options. It is also important to acknowledge that, while the developments in GAC and Toyota's ammonia engine technology are significant, there have been previous advancements in this field. About a decade ago, the Korean Energy Research Institute made notable progress by creating a vehicle called AMVE. This pioneering car used a blend of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline, resulting in an impressive 70% reduction in carbon emissions. The AMVE project was dedicated to exploring the potential of an entirely ammonia-powered engine, demonstrating the feasibility of this technology. When we examine GAC's engine, which uses liquid ammonia as fuel, it is noteworthy that there seems to be carbon dioxide production. This observation implies the incorporation of an additional fuel source in the engine design. This hybrid approach can be quite practical, given the characteristics of ammonia, such as its comparatively low flame propagation speed, which may pose challenges for engines operating at high speeds or low loads. By combining ammonia with another fuel, GAC's engine may have effectively addressed these limitations, ensuring smoother and more versatile performance under various driving conditions. This hybrid approach has the potential to improve the practicality and usability of the engine. While different projects have tackled ammonia-powered engines in various ways, they all highlight ongoing efforts to harness the potential of ammonia as a cleaner and more sustainable fuel source for combustion engines. As this field continues to evolve, it is likely that more innovations and optimizations will contribute to achieving the goal of environmentally friendly transportation. What are your thoughts on this engine? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, activating notifications because I post new videos every day. See you in the next one.